it's Lisa again with Luna Moth Creations and I am back. Sorry, my boyfriend's texting me. <laughs> with a box! Um, so I've got Tina's Enchanted Moon. Um, if you guys don't know Tina, Tina has her own uh, YouTube channel. She does unboxings just like me. Um, and then she also owns a witchy store in New Jersey. Um, her, her YouTube channel is called Enchanted Moon. I honest, I think her, her witchy store is called Tina's This and That, if I'm not mistaken. But you can find her on uh, here on YouTube, Tina's Enchanted Moon, or, or just Enchanted Moon. And then she, she should have like a link or whatever. But I'll put a link actually down below to her store and to her YouTube channel for you guys to check her out. <laughs> Sorry, my boyfriend is, <laughs> my boyfriend's sending me a goofy text. All right, so this is her. Um, Samhain box. I was lucky enough to get one. So we've got some orange and black paper. There's a sticker that says boo and a little owl sticker. I'm so excited. Her boxes, guys, I am in love with. And I also was able to snag a Yule box. I really need to jump in there and get a, um, what is her next one? I guess it would be in bulk. Pretty sure. Okay. Um, or well, maybe she doesn't call them. I think she calls them their quarterly or every other month or something. Anyways, I think she just calls them her, um, like the, the, whatever month it is. Like this is her October box, but I could be wrong. Okay. Ooh, it looks like I got, um, a card from, uh, shit. What's the name of this deck? So it says ancestors. They hiss a quivering so deep. Only roots of your soil can lift the nakedness hidden within the vows made in silence an ancient chill walking upon the spine so that's my card and this i believe is the um shit, i can't remember the name of the deck but it's the Sawan one and they just came out with a yule one i'm sure it says it in here all right so it says seasons of the witch is the theme of this box divination work and Sawan go hand in hand this specific season of the witch is a great hinge of the year the Celts knew this, and that's why Samhain was recognized as the new year in their tradition. During big psychic shifts of energy, the shift we feel around Samhain is a perfect time to look forward, backward, and even beyond. They say the veil between the world of the living and the spirit realm is the thinnest now. So I created this box around divination to honor and connect to our ancestors. Items in this box can be used any way you see fit. I hope you enjoy the items in this box and have a blessed Samhain. Okay. Um, let me see if it, oh, you know what? I think it's Season of the Witch, isn't it? That's the Oracle deck that I had. Um, well, I don't see it right off the top of the bat, and I don't really want to read anything. So we have some papers, and it says, Sawan, October 31st, Ancestors Transition Reflection. So we got this. And then, okay, so this is our book of shadows. And then it says correspondences, stones, um, onyx, basalt. And then it says onyx again. Amethyst, obsidian, bloodstone, colors, night sky black, candle flame orange, cat's eye green, dusk purple, purple. Oh, look, I got a new watch band, purple. Um, animals, cats, ravens, crows, toads and frogs, wolves, snakes, arachnids, um, <laughs> moths, plants, pumpkins, turnips, beets, larch, I don't know what it is, okay, roses, nightshades, thistle, sage, juniper, food, molasses, cookies, raisin pies, raisin, raisin pies, spice cakes, popcorn balls, candy apples, I'll take the candy apple, symbols, jack-o'-lanterns, cauldrons, black cats, witches' brooms, and spiderwebs. And then we have a spell, All Hallows' Eve, bless, oh, here, let me show you guys. So this is the correspondence page. Spell, All Hallows' Eve, blessing. On this night of All Hallows' Eve, when the veil is parted so we can see, ancestors, please protect and inspire me. On this cusp of the witch's new year, may I cast aside doubt and fear. Ancestors, ancestors help me achieve, guide me to prosper and succeed. So will I mode it, so may it be. Very nice. That is our spell. You know what, guys? So um, I have been creating 
some spells lately and doing some things um, as a side project with some others. And I've been sitting here thinking, I'm not that bad at writing spells. I am a rhyming fool. So I may be offering some spell kits in my witchy store. Once I move and get all settled in and stuff like that, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you want some spells from me? Because I'm thinking not only will I write the spell, um, and it'll be on some pretty paper, but I will also send the tools to create that spell, like crystals, herbs, whatever I decide to use for that spell. What do you think? What do you guys think? Okay, I'd love to hear. All right, so, oh, how fun is this? <laughs> let me take the sticker off the front. Oh, it's not gonna work. Okay, let me just, <laughs> let me just open this so you guys can see this better. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, I want you guys to see it in all of its glory and not with the wrap on it. Oh, my light just died. Hold on, guys. Ugh. Let me plug it in. Oi. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, there we go. There's my light. You guys like my shirt? <laughs> um, this is the... Uh... Oh, shit, I'm gonna forget. I went to this concert with my boyfriend. This this was his music. It was really cool though. It was really cool. Um, what does it say on the front? I don't even know what it says on the front. Fuck, I can't remember the name of this band. Saint Vincent. That's probably what it says on the front. It's just very groovy um, stuff. But anyways, this is um, Saint Vincent. If you guys haven't heard of her and her situation. She's pretty cool. I really enjoyed her concert. Okay, so we have um, palm reading. It's a like a 10 uh, thingamabobber jigger thing um, to hang on the wall. How cute. I actually have here. Let me jump. Let me jump up here since I'm just jumping around anyways. I got a shelf up here. Look at this cool palm reader's statue. I got this in a different box that's no longer, um, although it sounds like she might be doing, like, not subscriptions, but, um, just monthly boxes or maybe quarterly. I'm not sure. It was, it was from Midnight Muses. Midnight Muses. I don't really want to say it in this box, but, you know, it's okay. All right, so I will most likely put that decoration with that when I move. Okay. Was it? Where's my paper? All right. Let's read about the um, palm reading sign to add to your sacred space altar. Palm reading is another form of divination, a reminder that you are in control of your fate. Yes, ma'am. All right. So then I have this velvety black bag with a pentacle on the front. And I'm a, ooh. I'm trying to figure out. It's, it's got some uh, shiver on it. Is it black tiger's eye? Is that a thing? Um, enclosed in a black sachet with a silver pentacle, a beautiful silver sheen obsidian bracelet for you to wear when you need to be protected. Silver Sheen Obsidian is a soothing protective stone, a marvelous stone for out-of-body journeying as it provides a strong connection between the physical and astral bodies. Cool. I don't know that I've ever seen Silver Sheen um, Obsidian. It's really not gonna translate very good, but it has like Schiller on it, you know, the little fun reflective situation. I'm gonna put this on right now, y'all. I need some protection. Okay. Okay. Then we have something in here. Let's look, let's look. I'm just throwing my trash on the floor. I'll sweep it later. Cottage Kitchen. It's a gray October Sunday morning. Pumpkin and gingerbread cauldron hot. Your kitchen smells of spiced cinnamon and clove. It's a room spray. Give a gentle shake. It's by Earth 
Earth Day, D-A-E, Cottage and Bath Company. Okay, I'm excited. Oh, hell yes. Oh my God, that smells so good. Whoa. I think I just ate some of it. I mean, it doesn't really taste great, but it smells amazing and it went right up my nose. Uh, that is awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try to find this. Oh, now my nose is really running. Happy to include these Kitchen Room Body Sprays by Earth Day, D-A-E, a local artist. This two ounce spray is sure to enchant you with the scent of pumpkin, gingerbread, and clove. A perfect addition for the season of the witch. The um, company's website is www earthday earthdae.com and i'm telling you guys this one is amazing i don't know if it's called witching hour or cottage kitchen i'm not sure but it's that's yummy i'm gonna put it back in here because again i am packing up all my things so i can move in nine days yay so excited okay and as you guys know, I'm getting a puppy. And they, I, I've spoken to her and she's gonna hold them for me. She was um, a little hesitant at first because she didn't know how long it was gonna take me to get into my new apartment. And my boyfriend's afraid if I brought the puppy over here, either A, his dog wouldn't get along with the puppy, or B, my dog would pee on the floor <laughs> because the, you know, this house was built in 1904 and we really don't wanna ruin these, like, beautiful hardwood original floors, right? So I get it. But anyways, the breeder was like, yeah, no problem. All right, oh, I guess we have another situation from Earth Day. It says Salem, it's October in Salem. The sun is going down, the magic is coming alive on Essex Street. I've been there, <laughs> it's, it's magical, okay. The dried leaves are rustling on the cobblestone streets. Um, and this also says witching hour. I wonder, yep, yeah, another enchanting item from Earth Day, perfume roll-on Salem. For those of us who cannot, who cannot visit Salem this Samhain, this perfume oil will bring you there. Dab your pulse points and wait to be enchanted. Witching hour scented. Awesome. Yeah, so I have been to Salem twice. Um, I went two years ago. Like, I went during Samhain. Mmm. Yummy. I don't quite know what the, um, what that scent is, but it smells really good. Um, but yeah, I went, the last time I went during Sawin and the year before that, I went, um, in like December. Girl, it was so cold. <laughs> even even during Samhain, it was freezing. But it was amazing. All right, so now we have, oh, is it a tarot, oh, sponge? What? Oh, okay. It looks like a tarot bag. And it's purple. Thank you, Tina. All right. Look at how pretty it is. It's velvety and then it's got this beautiful picture on the front. Oh yeah, girl. Thank you. Okay, let me set that aside. Let's see. Hmm. Well, it's, it says an enchanted moon tarot bag in black to keep your cards safe. Mine's in purple, so maybe some people got a black one. Um, I'm, thank you, I'm, I'm glad I got a purple one because it's my favorite color. All right. Now, it appears that we have a candle. Oh man, this candle looks fun. says witches brew brew up some magic just add intention very nice look at this guys 
Look how gorgeous it is. And the, is this a stone? <gasps> so the stone, I'm taking it out because I don't want to set it on fire later. It is a, it looks like an amethyst coffin. It is an amethyst in the shape of a freaking coffin. O-M-G. That is the coolest. I don't have one of those. Oh man. Get all the wax off of it. Let me put it up there in my thingy. But then you see all the cute little pumpkins and yummies in here. We don't light it up. Let's light it. I should probably take the pumpkin out because the last time there was a little pumpkin in one of these, I like seriously set it on fire. Well, I can't get one of them out. Okay, I got one of the little babies out. Set them over there. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Da -da. Season of the Witch glass jar candle created in house by Enchanted Moon. Oh my gosh! Scented with witch's brew fragrance oil, topped with hibiscus, putka pod, and assorted gemstone coffins to save and add to your altar to honor the dead. Nice. Also included a Samhain spell book of shadows sheet for you to use with your candle. Oh, okay. So the Samhain um, book of shadows that we already read. Um, this candle has been blessed and charged to honor your ancestors. Lovely. So I will burn this now, but I'm also going to, because I'm going to have some left. I'll be burning this on Samhain. Oh gosh, I don't know what to get next. Tina packs this box full of stuff. Okay, so we have this black bag. Oh my God, are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God, it is a crystal that's in the shape of a jack-o'-lantern with a witchy hat. <gasps> this looks like orange calcite. Whoa, oh my gosh. Oh, it's sunstone, I'm stupid. It is sunstone, okay. <laughs> Fuzzy brain. Yeah, no, it, 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 yeah, it looks like sunstone. My bad. <laughs> okay, where to go? Where to go? A jack-o'-lantern to keep away evil spirits. This gemstone is sunstone. Perfect color, don't you think? Sunstone is good for abundance, happiness, and joy. You can add this gemstone to your Samhain altar, add to your dumb supper's table, whatever you wish. So a dumb supper is a um, tradition that a lot of people do during Samhain, and it's a silent supper to um, honor your past uh, loved ones. So, oh my God, man, I'm only going to be able to have a Samhain altar for just a minute over at my new place. Maybe I will keep it out for the whole month of November. I think I will. Oh my gosh. Put that right up there. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. OMG. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to wrap it back up because I'll just put it back in this box for moving. Wow. Okay. Now we have another little something something. It appears to be... Oh, it's an incense holder. Take the little thing off of it. It is a little incense holder guy in the shape of a stall. Okay. Black resin pentagram. Oh, it is a pentagram. Incense holder to hold your incense and bring protection to your space. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. There's just so many things, guys. There's so many things. Oh, here we go. We've got incense. We're gonna light this too. Mm. We'll light it 
from my candle. All right, while that does its thing, where is it? Um, autumn scented incense sticks to cleanse your sacred space crystals or during meditation very good all right where'd that there it is there okay put that guy over there awesome sauce Ooh. I need to write on the, what I'm going to do is write the incense name on here. So later when I'm like, what is this? Um, I'll be able to figure it out. Cause I don't know what to open next. Mm. Okay. There's something in this, uh, is it magnetic? I don't know if it's magnetic. Oh my God. I don't think I want to open this one yet. <laughs> I'll open it. <laughs> Oh my god, it's something cool! Okay, so we have our stand. Very nice. That's a nice stand. And guys, we have a crystal ball. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Look at that beauty. Oh my god. Wow! Tina! Oh my God. A crystal ball with wooden stand to use for scrying, another form of divination. So Samhain is a really wonderful time for divination. Um, and scrying is a very typical divination during that time. So, uh, oh my gosh, how beautiful. Okay, where was, hold on, was that? Was it in this? Oh no, it was in this. Okay. Need to wrap it back up so it'll be safely transported in my move. Beautiful. All right. And then we have a book, Honoring Your Ancestors, uh, A Guide to Ancestral Veneration. Very nice. I love getting books. And this is by Mallory... Ooh, vad vadwas, vadwas. Okay, so there you guys go. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Honoring your ancestors: A Guide to Ancestral Veneration by Mallory Vadwas. Vad vadwas. I don't know. A great book to guide us to our ancestors. Fabulosity. Okay, and I think we have the last item. And I know what it is because I saw it <laughs> and I'm excited because this was on my, um, my wish list on Amazon and I had not gotten it yet. Seasons of the Witch Oracle. Oh yeah. And they just came out with, um, uh, the Yule, uh, Oracle from the same people. So it's by Lorraine Anderson and Juliet Diaz illustrated by Guida Rose. And I'm sure that you guys have already seen this. This isn't a new deck. Um, it says, this happens to be one of my favorite Oracle decks. Seasons of the Witch, Sawan Oracle by Lorraine Anderson and Juliet Diaz. Illustrated by Guida Rose. Harness the intuitive power of the year's most magical night. Okay. Okay. I had to use the teeth. Sorry. I'm not going to do a whole, like showing of this deck. It's not new. I'm sure that you guys have seen it. Um, it's new to me though, because I don't have it. Oh, that's a nice guidebook. Look at how big this guidebook is y'all. Oh, and the cards are color in here. And then there's some spreads. Oh, lovely. Crystals for Sawin, herbs for Sawin. Oh my God, guys. This is a, oh, hmm. that's exciting. Okay, and you know, I got the Ancestor card, Ancestors, number three. All right, so, well, maybe I'll just do a very quick, oh my God, guys, look it. It's like gold foil gilded, wonderful. 
All right, so we've got Altar. This is the card I got, Ancestors. Doing, doing a quick, quick run through. Apples. Banshee. Bat. Black Cat. Just in case you guys hadn't seen it. Broom. Candle Magic. Sorry, they're kind of sticking together because they're new. Cauldron. Coming of Winter. Crystals and Herbs. Dark Moon. Divination. Elders. Elements. Frog, Graveyard, Greet the Darkness, what time is it? Okay, I gotta get going. Grief, Haunted, Healer, Intuition, Journey, Mischief, Nature Spirits, Owl, Potions and Spells, Protection, Pumpkin, Rebirth, Reflection, Ooh, Ritual, love it, Rooted, Seduction, Silence, Spider, Third Harvest, Transformation, The Underworld, The Veil, Voices, We Itch, and Wolf. Very nice, very nice. All right. I don't know how long of a... Whoa, maybe it's, it's probably too long for me to read today. I think my video is running very long, and I gotta go get ready for work. <laughs> Anyways, guys, what a great box. Oh my God, Tina, I love you so much. You're so great. I love you. I love your channel. I love your store. I love your boxes. Your fab tab. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, my video on Tina's Enchanted Moon box for Sawin. Um, I am getting her Yule box, so that I will show you guys in December. Thank you guys for watching. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and a comment below what you think of this box. I don't think that I can pick a favorite because guys, this box is fabulous. Um, I, I mean, I'm excited because I've been wanting this deck. I'm excited to read a new book. The scrying um, crystal ball is amazing. The candle, the freaking room spray, the um, roll on yumminess, the pumpkin, carved out of sunstone, like what? Like everything, everything is great. But I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you guys are already a subscriber, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. And I love when you interact with me. It makes my day. And until next time, guys have a great day. Bye.